ourselves from the trail and It is alright. We've been doing this for thousands and thousands of years. And we drain the blood and we mix it with a Passover blend. And then we throw the bodies into the slaughterhouses that we own. And we grind up all the bodies and the sausage and the hamburger. McDonald's is one of our favorite outlets. And uh, the people, they eat them for breakfast, they eat them their children for lunch. So that's why I'm speaking so honestly here, to bring it out into the open so that you can see it for what it is. People don't want to listen. You know, we, uh, uh, I know you know because I've heard it on your show before. I mean, we steal 100 to 300,000 children a year just here in this country. People don't want to listen. They don't wake up, do they? And we drain the blood and we mix it with a Passover blend. And then we throw the bodies into the slaughterhouses that we own. And we grind up all the bodies and the sausage and the hamburger. McDonald's is one of our favorite outlets, and uh, the people, they eat them for breakfast, they eat them their children for lunch, and, uh, you know, uh, us Jews, you know, we gotta, uh, we gotta do what we do. The, the, the most important thing to remember between you and me, Rabbi A.B. Finkelstein of New York, that we both have two fathers, and so that's why we look at the world in two different ways. People don't want to listen. But you know, there's quite an awakening coming. My father, who's not your father, my father Yahweh, who isn't your father, of course, your father is talked about by my father in John 8:44, stating that your father was Satan and that you're the descendant of Cain, who was the first murderer. People don't want to listen. Right now, it's too late. It's over for your white race. So that's why I'm speaking so honestly here to play it out into the open so that you can see it for what it is. Uh, you've been teaching uh, the people real good, but they don't wake up, do they? You don't get a lot of followers, do they? They don't wake up, do they? People don't want to listen. Open your mind. You don't wake up. Scared of us Jews because they don't want to be called anti Semites. They don't wake up. And they believe that we're the chosen people. They don't wake up. And so that's why uh, we can do whatever we want to do and we can get away with it because the white men are cowards. People don't want to listen. Well, we go to the synagogue all the time and have some Manashevitz and dance the Hava Megila. People don't want to listen. They don't wake up, do they? Well, that's very interesting. I understand it. But I also know the bloodletting. I know that, uh... On your Passover, which isn't mine, that a lot of little children do disappear, and I, I, I do know that, and I know a lot of police, uh, police departments and agencies have been informed. They don't wake up. Open your mind. What letting of the little children that you put their blood in the monster balls and that you eat it on sacrifice on Passover? McDonald's is one of our favorite outfits. They don't wake up, do they? Well, there was a 
William that wrote a book about it back in the 30s, I forget his name at the moment, uh, but anyway, he wrote the book, uh, and people didn't buy the book, people don't want to listen, they don't wake up, do they? Wake up, do they? 